Okay, so today I'm going to use Canva and the Cricut to create a label for my loofah soaps. So I've gotten a lot of requests for um, making labels and I'm just going to create a new design as I would if I were making my own. So these are two, two inches round labels. So I like to do my own because I like to be able to customize things. And uh, instead of trying to use Avery or online labels, I can just buy plain <clears throat> eight and a half by 11 mailer shipping labels and uh, use a Cricut and cut them out. So I'm using, uh, I'm creating the size of a single label and in inches and we're going to create a new design and canva is free to sign up with or you can uh, purchase their subscription which is really um, inexpensive and um, you get access to you know design elements fonts qr codes logos and all kind of stuff so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with i work from the back to the front and i'm just going to do a circle and so as you can see the circle is free so I'm going to add in the circle and I'm going to uh, extend it to be two inches by two inches. Okay. And you can change the color of the circle. I'm going to change the color of the circle to be white. But you know what? I'm going to actually do, um, let's start off with the off white just so that we can see it while we design and I can change it later so that we can know if our artwork is inside of the border, borders of the circle. But my actual label background will be white. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from top to bottom and um, I'm going to uh, add my logo. I should have my logo in here already. Here, here we go. So I added in my logo and I'm going to have it be up here at the top and um, I'm thinking maybe like an inch and a quarter is a good size for my logo. That's good. All right, and it kind of snaps into the center so you know if it's in the center. So I start off with my, with my logo. And then I'm gonna add in some text. And um, for your labeling, you need to include where your product is made. So I'm gonna add a little body of text. And this is gonna be, my products are handcrafted. Oops, can't spell. Handcrafted in Norco. California. Okay. And I'm going to make this be about oops, seven point. Okay. And then I'm going to center that. It just snaps right into place. Beautiful. Okay. So I've got who I am, where I'm made. Okay. Next, I'm going to add in what the scent is. Okay. So the scent is going to be relaxing lavender spa okay and i'm going to choose we'll see. i'm going to choose like this is going to be a heading actually it's kind of big that's all right you can make it smaller and i'm going to choose a nice um cursive font and actually yeah that's a nice one Going through these and seeing what I like here. This one's nice. Um, I like something that's like cursive but readable. All right. So I'm gonna put relaxing in cursive here, and then my next one will be a subheading. Okay, and it's going to be future is good actually, and I'm gonna do it. This is gonna say the uh, lavender spa. I'm gonna do all caps. So this is kind of like gonna be the style, type style, for my, um, for my text here. I'm just trying to move it. There we go. All right. So I like this size. I think the size is pretty good. But I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. This is like overtaking the whole label. 
I like how the little G fits right in there. That's cute. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Relax on this spot. Okay, and then I'm gonna look for an element. Let's see, maybe we do banner. So I like that you can look and search for the type of element that you're looking for. Like, like this is cute. This is cute. I like that. It's like a little flag. You could do like a little curly one. Look at all these options. Like half the time we can just get lost looking at all the options that they offer. But this one, this one will work for me. So as you can see, it's got a black border. I don't really want the black border. I just want it to be a solid color. Maybe no feel. I guess you have to do it the same color as the as the feel. So if you do it the same, if you do the outline the same color as the feel, then it looks like it has no outline. So sometimes you have to like work within the rules of the program to get what you're looking for. So um, this is pretty good. So I'm going to center it up here, and then inside we're going to take we're going to um, add some more text, and this is going to be uh, like a I guess like a subheading. There you go. Oh, I'm gonna add it too. <laughs> Don't want to. Let's go back. Okay. There we go. And I'm just gonna move this. And this is gonna say, I'm gonna give it a description, a description of what my product is. So I'm gonna say exfoliating bar soap. Oops. Sorry, right tonight. All right, and so then let's get that to fit in there. And I was kind of thinking of doing like a fun font for this, like almost like a handwritten, you know, um, farmer's market type of font. This one's good, I like this one. All right, so that's our description. It's an exfoliating bar soap, right? Beautiful. And then we're going to put even more information because what basically what I want, I want you to look at this label and know everything about this bar. So I'm going to say, uh, let's do a subheading and let's do it at like, I don't know, nine? Oh my God. And I'm going to say with Luca and there's an ampersand and essential oils all the reasons why people would want to buy your bar of soap all right oh i don't know i had that in there okay so look we've got relaxing lavender spots foliating bar soap with lupa and essential oils nice okay and then we're gonna do the weight okay so we put that at the bottom at 12 points um, it's supposed to at least be an eighth of an inch, I believe, in height. Uh, so I'm going to say net weight 3.5 ounces, 99 grams. Oops. Hmm. Let me type this in. Be sure. Light bulb. Condense. There we go. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I like to keep, you know, I don't want to use too many different fonts. So I'm, Future is pretty much like the main font that I'm using here for everything. The font family. We're using the narrow um, style of it, bold style. Um, but, you know, essentially the family is Future. And that way it doesn't get too busy with different fonts. But I have two other fonts just for a little style. Okay. So this this label looks great. I got all the elements here. Now I'm just kind of like, you know, tweaking position. Um, you know, I like, ele you know, like the business information, I like that to be close together as one unit. The product description, I like that all to be close together as one unit. You know, and then the weight separately as one unit. Okay, I feel like this looks balanced. It looks great. Now, the color. 
Um, I like to change the colors of my labels to go with the fragrance of the product. So that way, like at a glance, I just know, like, I see purple, oh, that's got to be lavender, you know. Uh, that's kind of how I organize things. So I'm going to change this to uh, back to white because I have everything in place, so I know it's going to be in place. So I can change it back to white. Um, so see how it says gray up here? Let's change this to white. Bam. Okay. And then I'm going to change the the text I wonder if I can select it, select it all and change that to purple can I do that all right beautiful okay so now what I'm gonna do is proofread handcrafted in Norca see mm -mm -mm. that is why we proofread Handcrafted in Norco, California, relaxing lavender spa exfoliating bar soap with lupa and essential oils. Net weight 3.5 ounces, 99 grams. Beautiful. So I'm going to download this. And by downloading this in Canva, it actually like well actually it saves on the fly. It says here all save uh, changes are saved. So you can always come back to this and do your next scent, you know and uh, keep them saved in the cloud so so now that we are finished we're going to download the file as a png with a transparent background that's going to make sure that the white is white and the background is clear okay now that we have finished the layout we're going to download it so we're going to click download it's at 600 by 600 pixels it should be good enough for printing um, 300 dpi is what you're usually shooting for it's two inches wide so 300 uh, times two is 600 which should be fine and then we're going to uh, click transparent background we want the background to be transparent so the white is white and the background is clean so we're going to download this as you can see i've downloaded this in a couple of different file formats but that's all right and then we're going to save it as a png Okay, because PNGs work really, really well for Cricut. So now we're going to go into the Cricut software. We're going to upload a new image. So as you can see, this is how I've been doing my other labels. But we're going to do the one we just created together so you can see how this works. So I'm going to select the PNG file and I'm going to open it now. And as you can see, we have that transparent background like I talked about and the white for the actual sticker and I'm just going to click click simple um, and uh, right here if it did have um, color that you don't want included you could uh, use the wand to get rid of it but we'll talk about that maybe in a future uh, video but everything looks good right now I'm going to move forward and we're going to use the print then cut image setting so I've clicked that it see it's highlighted in green and we're going to upload that file so um, now we're going to take that file that we just uploaded and now insert it into our project so as you can see it comes in but it does not come in at the two by two inch that i want it to be uh, because it's the, the resolution it goes by is by screen resolution so i'm going to change it down to two inches by two inches and um, it's pretty close uh, and then so then I don't want to just do one sticker like let's not let's not just do one let's do a whole sheet of stickers right so we can do multiples let's see how many we can get on here I think we can get 12 12, 12 yet. if you want to see how many more you got room for you can click make and then I see I can have two more so I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm just holding down Command C and Command V to copy and paste. And you can just leave them like this because Cricut's going to organize it for you. And I'm going to save as my uh, Canva Lupa test. But you name it, whatever makes sense for you. You can even create collections in Canva so you can put all your Lupa soap uh, labels and folders in Cricut. So now that we've saved it, we're going to make it. When we make it, we click make. And oh, I'm sorry. 
I was not copied the last one. We're gonna copy that last one. We've saved it. Now we're gonna click make it. Now we're ready. So we just hit continue. And what I do is I will send it to the printer. So click send to printer. And um, you can include a bleed if you have it, but I don't have a bleed on this one. It's all white, so I'm just gonna deselect that. And I like to use the system dialog box for my printing and because I can uh, upgrade the print quality that way. I don't have the option to do it here. I have my OfficeJet uh, Inkjet Printer 6978 selected and I will hit print. And you'll have to move the window because for some reason the print window pops up behind it. Uh, so the dialog box is here behind the window and I'm gonna upgrade mine to best for print quality. And then you can you know, select how many copies you want there and hit print. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just printing on my trusty office jet, jet printer. And I actually, I'm using um, the chamomile design that I worked on a little bit earlier. I actually made this for real order. And it comes out of the printer and we're just gonna put it on the Cricut mat. So you can see I have it all printed out here on the mat and I have it uh, placed in the top left corner and I'm going to just load it into the mat here and then there's a little blink blinking light here when I hit, the, hit that button and that begins. Okay, so as you can see, it finished cutting here. So I'm gonna unmount it. And so you can see that it finished cutting here and um, it, follow, it it uses this border to know <coughs> that the paper is oriented correctly. And it followed the circular shape of the white background. And now we're ready to put it onto the soap. So that's pretty much the process to create your own circular labels. I'll do some more videos like this so you can kind of see my process. But this is literally what I do for all of my Bath & Body products. Once I get a little bit bigger where I'm doing huge, huge orders, then I'll send out the labels to be professionally printed. But for right now, this works for me. So please feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment box below. I'll leave a link in the description to the products and the uh, Cricut that I have. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.